Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I have to say I cannot understand why this proposition that Scotland has the right to choose her own future is so controversial for some. I accept that not everyone in Scotland or even further afield wishes Scotland to become a self-governing country. However, I cannot comprehend these voices who are so afraid of what the people of Scotland may decide about their own future that they believe the solution is to prevent the people of Scotland having the opportunity to make such a choice at all. Surely anyone can see that this is not a sustainable or logical position to take. For anyone in this chamber to tell the people of Scotland, the people of any nation, that no matter what you vote for, you won't have it unless we approve only adds to the swelling rank, SNP ranks, as increasingly the people of Scotland take exception to being told by those for whom they did not vote that what they might vote for in the future will not be permitted. It makes a nonsense of any idea of a partnership of equals. And I say in all honesty, honesty that many unionists are nervous about this strategy of simply denying democracy for that very reason. They know it plays very badly in Scotland. However, it's the case, like many of those in the chamber today will tell you off the record, that they understand that if the SNP, the party that exists to persuade Scots to choose self-government and will stand on that very platform, they'll tell you that if the SNP win the election in May, and secure a majority, then a mandate for an independence referendum will exist and it will be delivered just as it was delivered in 2014. Anyone who doubts that only has to look at the Tory election leaflets today going out across Scotland telling people if you want to stop an independence referendum, vote Tory. That's how we know that an SNP majority will absolutely deliver that mandate. It's as simple as that. So despite the bluster, the attempts to divert the debate down blind alleys, the shrieking at squirrels, that these are the undisputable facts. Today is about Scotland's constitutional choices. And I have to say to those who deny such a choice even should exist, you are sorely out of touch with the people of Scotland.